Draw strokes are used to move your kayak sideways, such as when you want to pull yourself up beside somebody or towards a dock. There are two basic draws that we're going to look at, the T-stroke and the sculling draw. The T-stroke is the most basic stroke for moving your boat sideways. It involves reaching out to the side of your boat and pulling water towards your hip. For the most effective stroke, plant your blade completely in the water, rotate your head and upper body to face your active blade, and hold your paddle as vertical as possible. Getting your paddle vertical means reaching across your boat and body with that top hand. This takes a lot of balance, so you might want to start with your hand in front of your face. With your blade planted fully in the water, your top hand will stay quite stationary, acting as a pivot point for the stroke while you pull your lower hand in towards your hip. Now before your paddle hits your kayak, where it can potentially get pinned and flip you, you need to finish and recover from the stroke. The recovery for the T-stroke is where the stroke got its name. Instead of pulling the paddle right out of the water, you'll curl your wrist forward so you can slice the paddle back out to where it started. If you find your boat turning as you take the T-stroke, it means that you're pulling your draw too far forward or too far back. If your draw is too far forward, you'll pull your bow to your paddle, which is actually called a bow draw, and we'll be looking at that stroke shortly. If your draw is too far back, you'll pull your stern to your paddle, which is called a stern draw, and it's something else we'll be looking at. 